Hi, it's Edward from This Mentopia Taiwan. Today, a question. People have been asking me in screaming techniques about chest resonating and oral resonating and nasal resonating. So today, this video, I'm going to show you how these techniques sound. So this is what this video is about. It's not about how to perform these techniques because the, the technique it, itself requires more practice and some time to get your hands on it. So let's put that aside. Just focus on uh, how they sound to you, how they sound in your ears. So every demonstration I do in this video will be vocal fry based because I feel like vocal fry based uh, techniques go better with the nasal uh, technique, nasal resonating technique. So, if you want to uh, listen to some false chord techniques, we can do that in the future. But for, for now, I'll just do the vocal fry one. So, I'll give you a normal one, which uh, all the resonating point is uh, balanced out. So, it's like something like this. <laughs> That's something that's balanced out. So now, if you want to get go to some deeper realm, which is what they call a chest resonation, it might sound like this. Okay? So that's just by uh, shifting the, the focus into some particular muscle groups and what about oral resonation actually oral resonation is not really a resonation point it's more like the airflow through your mouth creating some type of sound which may sound like this it's like placing your mouth differently to create a different sound and lastly, for the nasal resonation, people have been asking this for Infinite Annihilator and various other bands, so it might sound like this. So there's a nasal sound. And of course, you can apply that to a higher, like, uh, higher screen. Something like this. Yeah, so that's the nasal technique. I hope this demonstration clears out the air about how you understand uh, all the resonation points. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching.